Okay, so this is me commenting on my uh, adventures through the quest, The Wolf Queen Awakened. Um, yeah, I decided to put it up because I remade, recently I remade my character into a mage. And I know I said in another video I really don't go for mages, not really, but I decided to do it anyway just to see just to see how different it was and yeah it's pretty interesting and kinda cool but I will say if if you built your mage like I did and you're around level 17 18 and you sunk all of your core points into magicka you're probably gonna have a a rough time getting out of here and I'm speaking of course playing on adept difficulty and even if you lower it down to novice you'll still kinda have a tough time with the um, with the Draugr death lords they do pretty harsh damage at times so yeah um, but if you have a summon you'll be okay if you don't have a summon you'll have to you have to more so resort on sneaking tactics and why do I say this well you can in a few seconds you can look at the top right corner and you'll see exactly why you can try to run through here but it's not exactly gonna work out and um yeah I'll explain this part right here you're gonna need to if you do have a summon you're gonna need to go into sneak mode and yeah in the top right corner this is one of my failures but yeah at this part you're gonna need to sneak through this door and pop your summon and run away why because the door that you may have seen to the right it's locked and there's no way of going through it unless you have a key or unless you're a master lock picker which I doubt you're that good at at level 17 so you have to rely on your summon to kill the the vampire that's guarding the Draugr death lord I believe and if you can get the key off of him without being noticed you're good otherwise chances are you're gonna get pretty frustrated at this part because the Draugr death lord in my case he's carrying an ebony sword there's really no benefit to trying to fight him you can get away with it I did manage to kill him but it, it takes a while and he doesn't really have anything of worth on him except for an ebony sword so if you want an ebony sword kill him otherwise run away but don't attempt what I'm doing right now because I thought I could trap him in this uh, circular part but um, that didn't exactly go so well for me and I ended up dying um, so I would suggest if you're a if you're a straight mage and you put all your points into magicka yeah see I died he hit me through the wall which I didn't think could happen but it did but um I would suggest you sneaking past him with the key and unlocking the door because yes he will follow you through this part actually that's what the um the little snippet in the upper right corner was I tried to run away from him and he followed me this part yeah don't don't try to go head to head with a vampire they're actually pretty strong despite what you might think yeah, yeah, she she kind of killed me there, and um, unless you have decent armor, or you put a couple of your level up increases into health, you're not gonna want to touch her. So instead, what I did was open the door. 
pop the summon and let my summon soften her up. Yeah, I know it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty lazy of me, but I was kind of trapped in here because um, I believe at one point they do kind of trap you in here and you really can't get out. And I didn't feel like turning the difficulty down, so I just decided to see what I could do to get through it. Uh, you can, don't get me wrong, you can still take her because I did, yeah, one time I did take her just using um, the beginner destruction spells that they give you, but you have to be really careful. Actually, when I did kill her, I ended up dying down here because I tried to run. So, that's the thing. If you're going to be a mage character and you're going to sink all your points into magic, you have to be careful. I mean, I know there is the um, that spell that does increase your armor rating, but I'm not too mage savvy, so I really don't like having to pay attention to all the buffs that I've been using I kinda just wanna you know destroy things and keep it moving and you can see that by how I play I guess minus the summoning but um after you take out the vampire there are a couple of drug I actually I don't know the correct way to pronounce that droggers I don't I don't know and then you'll see a big pile of dead bodies. Don't stay in here. And yeah, in a minute you'll see why. Actually less than a minute. Not much further. Come. Serve me and then Yeah, she'll start raising dead bodies, so you're not gonna wanna stay in there. there. Just pop a summon or if you don't have a summon. I suggest you use your strongest magic spell available or maybe sneak your way back and try to deal with them individually. Because like I said, if you don't have if you don't have the proper equipment or strong enough magic skills, you'll die. And yeah, I'll, I'll bring it up again. I am currently wearing like chef chef clothing just because yeah I know I shouldn't torture myself playing the video game but eh sometimes I just like to do crazy things on video games just because just for the sake of saying that I did it and here is Potma well Potema I just like saying Potma because it sounds kinda cool I guess she's not really that bad except for her one little beam of lightning the main focus is all of the extras that appear and there are quite a few actually you're you're probably if you're a mage you're probably gonna want to stay you're probably gonna want to stay in this hallway that I'm in until all of them come out because at least if you're in this hallway, you can always run back and sneak until they stop paying attention to you, and then you can go back in. If you're a warrior, just run in there and do what you do. Kill them. But uh, if you're a fairly new mage and you don't have too many spells, you're not going to want to rush in here. And the reason I say that is because there's a... There's a Death Lord in here at some point. He comes out. Uh, I don't know if it's random or anything, but there, there's going to be a Death Lord somewhere. He does come out. And uh, he's not too nice. Actually, when I fought him, it took me a while to kill him. So, And that's exactly why... I had to cut because it took me some odd like 15 minutes to kill that death lord and after you kill him 
and all the various minions that are around, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go further and there are a couple of more people to kill and then there's another fight. Uh it's not that bad of a fight. I'll say the draugers are more difficult. Yeah, someone tell me the correct way of pronouncing that. I, I, I don't know. But, <laughs> yeah. You have to fight this thing. I was, Actually, when I went in here, I was looking around for a skeleton, because that's what it sounds like. And, I mean, if you've done any other quests, most of the time, the little blue ghost people are friendly. So that's why I really wasn't thinking that that was a boss or something. But then it started playing the music and I was like, oh yeah, I have to attack that thing. And I'm showing off. Hamburger! Hamburger! I am a chef. Hamburger! Okay, enough of that. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Hopefully you'll get lucky like how I did and it'll just stay up on top of the stairs. Actually, at some point, I kind of got bored with just frying it, so I tried to go up the stairs. I think I'll do it right about now. Okay, maybe in a couple of seconds, but I kind of got bored, and I went up the steps, and it tries to club me in the face with whatever that is it has. And as you can see, it doesn't do that much damage compared to a, a Death Lord. A Death Lord, yeah, they, they'll kill me in like one hit. So, compared to that, I, I really didn't care about this fight, because it wasn't that life-threatening. And after you kill the ghost, you're pretty much home free. There's not... There's really not anything to worry about. Uh, there are a couple of more enemies further on, and that's about it. But... This whole little section is just the just the most frustrating part, especially if you're if you just happen to come to solitude as a new character and you don't have the best armor or equipment and you just kind of went for the quest just for doing it. So, yeah. I guess I just made this as a heads up, but um As long as you have a summon handy or you have maybe a shield and decent decent armor and I say like one good weapon yeah that you can use you're okay but uh, yeah it can be frustrating to get through this quest uh, and of course, yeah, I'm speaking from a mage point of view that just sunk all of their points into Magicka. Yeah, my health is still at 100. So, <laughs> on a side note, if I got through it with my uh, not-so-great stats in spells, if you have anything better, you should be able to, you know, make it through with uh, less difficulty, I guess. So, yeah. That's the good thing about it. But, just be careful about trying to attempt this quest. But, uh, my main points here, I suppose, would be just watch out for the two Death Lords that you have to fight. They can be, they can be a pain to deal with for an early character or someone who doesn't have decent armor other than that it's not that bad of a quest and uh, yeah this is the end of it really you just have to go turn in you just have to go turn in the quest and then you're done uh, and I believe I pop up the map to show exactly where this little cave ends up. So if you have the free time to scale a mountain, 
I guess. Well, no, actually, that'd be pointless because the door is barred. Yeah. But, eh, if you had the free time to scale the mountain anyway, you could always just, um, yeah, try to get over there. And that's where the quest lets out at. But, yeah. If you enjoyed the video and me briefing you on the difficulties of this quest, uh, yeah, just send me a comment, let me know.